just a briefer. Uh, one of our customers had a problem with their PCC, so we're going to take a look at that. Okay, sometimes a battery will get stuck in the, uh, the PCC's battery connector, and in the process of trying to untwist it, it's possible to pop the, uh, the hinge out of its position. Now the way to get it back in is uh, not easy actually. Um, what you have to do is make sure that the notched end of the pin is, on, is towards the bottom of the PCC and the smooth end of the pin is towards the top. Make sure the pin is centered in the, uh, in the connector. Turn it to about a 45 degree angle and put it down into the slot. Take a pair of needle nose pliers, place the, uh, the notched end of the, uh, of the hinge pin into, the, uh, into its pivot point, and then use the needle nose pliers to gently twist the other, the other uh, end of the pin into its pivot point. And there you go. Fully functional PCC again. Okay, so that went fa fairly easily. However, I do want to say that it really isn't easy. That actually took me four times to get it right, and I actually did break one PCC completely in trying to get it right. Um, the plastic uh, pivot point for the notched end of the hinge is fairly fragile and can actually break right through, and once that happens, it's no, you're not going to be able to get it uh, put back in. Uh, the other thing that can go wrong is that, it, is that uh, once that hinge is out of position, um, the connector is only being held on by two fairly delicate wires, which can break uh, in the process of trying to get that hinge back into position. So there's no way we can guarantee that you'll be able to repair your PCC at home this way, but it's at least worth trying. So I hope that helps. Once again, from Shenzhen, China, this is Leeford. Keep on blue. Later, because it's time for me to blue.